Beth Holloway has become a frequent TV figure, unfortunately for a terrible reason, a champion of family rights and a heroic figure looking for justice since her daughter disappeared in 2005. Now, using the skills she acquired in her quest to solve the mystery surrounding her daughter's disappearance, Beth is hosting Vanished, a 10-part reality series which will look at some of the most disturbing real-life unsolved cases. She joins us this morning to tell us more about this, and good morning to you, Beth. Good morning, Patrick. Tell us about the series and why did you decide to do this? Well, first and foremost, Vanished is a program with a purpose. We, Patrick, we hope that we can shed enough light on a case for it to be solved. There are thousands of missing persons cases out there, and we're just really wanting to do everything we can in order to help these families have a resolution. So what are you hoping people will take away from this series? Well, I, I think I think it's it's two-part messages. I, I think something that's that's embedded within each episode of Vanishes is, is the personal safety and travel safety messages for our for our young adults, um, whether it's the buddy system, whether it's bringing your plans full circle, how do you want to end your outing, you know, there are messages within everyone, and also just engaging the, the public because it's, we know someone out there knows something and we're just hoping that we can push enough or just, just like I said, just give the family one thread in order to, to hopefully get closer to a resolution. Now, Vanish premieres after a new Lifetime movie, Justice for Natalie Holloway, which goes through what happened four years after Natalie's disappearance. Is it tough to watch your reality play out on TV? Mm, I, don't, I don't really think about it too much anymore. Um, you know, I just I try to stay focused on, you know, the, the, the hard lessons that, that I can share and what I can do, and hopefully in helping other families. Now, as a fellow parent, and, and obviously I'm very familiar with your story, uh, how do you find the energy every day to just, I mean, honestly, just to get out of bed and, and, and keep fighting this fight to try and find out what happened to your daughter? The students. The students are terrific at each presentation, whether it's a high school or college. And I tell you, that, that's, that's who keeps me going. So um, they make it worthwhile, absolutely. It's our young sons and daughters. I know it's been a frustrating uh, six years for you. Do you ever think you'll find closure? Mm, I think what I have right now with Iran in prison in Peru is probably more than I could have ever hoped for. So um, I'm taking that right now. Do you hope that there will be a time where you get the truth from, from him and actually find out if, in fact, he was responsible for what happened to your daughter? Well, of course, of course I'd, I'd like to get to the, the full truth and, and to recover Natalie's remains. but. But like I said, most importantly right now, he's in prison in Peru, and that's where he belongs. So. All right, Beth, thanks for joining us this morning. And you can watch Vanish Monday nights on Lifetime.